am I ready for a change or do I just want a new scenery? I'm gonna grow a pair of balls and I'm not gonna cry about it. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but toot toot. She's a bronzy bronzer. You should know that I'm not joking around and everything I'm about to use is like Hello beautiful, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I decided I wanted to look cute. <laughs> Literally. I woke up and I was like, you know what? I just wanna feel cute today. I just wanna sit, do my makeup and kinda show you guys what I've been doing for like my summer makeup routine. Actually hair and makeup because my one two step hair care routine has been like my jam. So nonetheless, we're just gonna sit down, we're gonna do my makeup, show you guys my favorite makeup look for the summer, glowy, youthful, natural skin, and a cute little hair tutorial, period. Mermaid waves, if you will. First and foremost, these lips have got to be hydrated because, oh my God, I feel like I've just been dry all over. My back is actually starting to pill a little bit, pill, I mean peel, a little bit from the vacation that I just got back from. I went to Maryland for the 4th of July weekend and I didn't vlog or anything because I was with Cody's family and I don't know why I get so nervous to film with his family. I just, I'm not, not comfortable with it yet. I'm also using the Rode Peptide Lip Treatment. Finally got this back in my hands. Shout out them because they sent me a whole PR package. I was dying. I was crying. I love the lip mask. Went to Vic. I feel like I haven't spoke to y'all in for a minute. I feel like I haven't picked up my camera in so long. I don't know how to speak. But went to Maryland for the 4th of July weekend, which was very nice and relaxing. I kind of did like a low-key digital detox without really thinking about it. Like I was posting here and there, like on TikTok and Instagram. But I wasn't like pressuring myself to like get content, which was really nice. And it was just very peaceful, calm chill and yeah so what was the moral of that story i don't know i don't know um i don't really know what i'm even going to be talking about today because i'm just kind of in one of those chill moods it's a monday and i slept in a little bit today so it's a chill day i have a few things that i have to film for like campaigns and stuff so i figured might as well just do my makeup with you guys while I get ready for the day and just shoot the shit. I don't really have any life updates. Oh, that's what I was talking about. My peeling. My back has been like so itchy lately. And yeah, it's just not the vibe right now. I think I'm gonna actually start with my hair because my this routine is so quick and easy. Also, don't judge my armpits. I feel like every now... <laughs> I feel like ever since I started waxing my armpits, I just, I love growing them out. I know that's gonna sound so disgusting, but I just love growing out my armpit hair because it's more satisfying when I wax them, even though I gotta get on a better waxing schedule because I swear my armpits have been, my armpits are more hairy than clean. Well, you know what I mean. I did take out my extensions because the other day I was on my period and I was so irritable, like I was, itching my hair and i was just like i need these out like i always go through periods where i'm like oh i hate how thin my hair is and i want my extensions in like i want the thickness the fullness and then i'm just like i want them out i want to be able to slick my hair back you know put it half up half down because when you have extensions in the little like strands on the sides it gets bumpy and you can't get a sleek you can't get like a good slicked back hairstyle so i was like okay i'm gonna take them out so I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a break. I'm probably gonna leave them out until the end of the summer if I'm being honest because I have two vacations coming up and it's hard. Not hard, but like going into the ocean with extensions and then coming out, it's just, it's not a pretty sight. So we're rocking with it. Surprisingly, it doesn't feel as thin. I mean, you can like completely see through it, but it is what it is. If you know me, you know I am very lazy when it comes to my hair. I don't love styling it, even though I love the look of styled hair. So this is kind of my in between me being lazy, but also wanting to do a little something something with my hair. And it's literally three products. So honestly, after the shower, I don't brush my hair anymore. Well, I do, but when I'm doing this hairstyle, I don't because it grabs the curls a little bit better. I'm gonna start with the Way Air Dry Foam. This is so good, I absolutely love it. I'm hoping the results are still the same without my extensions, but basically I'm just gonna start scrunching this into my hair and also it smells so 
good. It kind of has this like masculine smell to it, but then again, it's like flirty and like girly. I don't know. It just smells so freaking good. It's like an extra scent of perfume. And when your hair smells good, it's like you just feel fresh and clean. Just like that. Like already look at the difference. Gives a little bit of volume too, especially since I don't have my extensions in. I definitely want that. I also have very like awkward straight hair and the fact that my hair still gets those like mermaid waves from this tells you a lot. If you already have curly hair, this is gonna be even better. Like the before and after for your hair. I take whatever is left over in my hand and kind of scrunch the top to give some volume and just like kind of mess it around a little bit. I tried giving myself a middle part, but I'm not the best at parting my hair. And then I have the Wave hairspray from Way as well. This is actually the travel size because I didn't know if it was gonna actually work. And I was gonna get this in the travel size, but they don't make one, which they should, because I feel like this is something really chunky to travel with, but the fact that they have a travel size Wave spray is pretty good. So anyways, I just take this, spray a bunch of little, sprays throughout the hair and again scrunch it and oh my god this smells so good too like it just makes you feel like you're already on vacation and then this hairstyle is like you just got off the beach like everything about it is so just very summery and i absolutely love it i feel like every summer i kind of lean in towards the mermaid wave scrunched hair wet look because it's quick it's easy and it just looks very like sexy and effortless i don't know boom bow that was the wave spray and now i'm just gonna take their hair oil just a little bit and then i kind of scrunch this in with it as well just to keep it less frizzy and stuff like that if you want to take it up a notch you could definitely use like a diffuser and make it even bouncier but Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time or the energy. My current bangs never like scrunch, but that's okay. That's the hair. <laughs> that is literally what I've been doing with my hair. And it definitely looks a little bit different without my extensions in, but whatever. I'm gonna put some eye drops in because my eyes are so freaking dry right now. Oh, my, I completely just missed my eye. Yeah, I did. I'm not the best at putting these in. I'll be completely honest. Sorry, just had to watch that. <laughs> I'm so scared of eye drops. It's actually insane. But they help so much just to like make your eyes a little bit more white. This is why you have to do them before you start makeup because look at me. But they feel so refreshing. I love eye drops. I keep them in my vanity. And before I start my makeup, I always plop some in. The summer makes me so dry all over my body like even my eyeballs <laughs> like, what my brows are literally about to fly away i need to get them done so bad i have to book my brow appointment with my sister like, do you see these brows i need a wax if you're in the lehigh valley area looking for a good brow girl hit my sister up because she's literally she's quite literally the only one that i trust with my brows anymore so now i'm gonna just do a little out uh, ow <clears throat> i'm gonna try plucking my brows just to get like the stray ones that are obviously out of place but oh my god why does it hurt so bad to pluck your own brows actually i'm gonna take a little razor and get my my unibrow real quick there's nothing worse than having a unibrow i mean if it's your thing it's your thing rock your unibrow but i cannot I cannot. I already have some thick ass brows. And when they aren't waxed, they are very masculine brows, but that's okay. I feel like masculine brows are low key the move. So I chose to embrace it. And that's, that's the tea. Whenever you don't like something about yourself, you just gotta choose to embrace it. Because if you like it and somebody tries making fun of it, <coughs> last time I checked, it wasn't you. Like to them, you know? It literally says way more about them than about you. Like, why do you care that much? You a fan, huh? We're just gonna leave it there. And now we're gonna bush them up. I feel like I have so many new products that I wanna show you guys. I've been doing just my makeup for TikTok lately. Let me show you some tea, tea, tea. Tea, 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 rose water you have to spray it to like activate it i'm gonna take their little spoolie just brushing that through the brows and this is literally like glue a lifted brow 
just creates the face shape of my dreams. Look at that. She's awake. She's a lion. She's a little butterfly. I feel like I've been really entering my soft girl era lately. It's so weird. I was actually talking about this on TikTok the other day, but I feel like I've been really craving like that soft girl lifestyle, but then also wanting to be like a party girl. Like, I don't know what it is because as soon as I, you know, have that, <laughs> have a little taste of being out late and partying or whatever. I mean, when I say party, I mean like going to a bar. <laughs> like I, I'm not going to a party, but every time I'm out and about, as soon as it hits like 12 o'clock, I'm like, you know, so like, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but I think I'm just going through this phase where I'm just like ready for a change, I guess. More so, uh, am I ready for a change or do I just want a new scenery? That's the question. And I think it's more so just wanting a change of scenery. So it will come. Also something that I've been really trying to do is like practice patience. Like last night, tell me why I was literally waiting for Netflix to load and it was taking forever. And I was like, JC, calm down. Like, it's just a nap. It's fine. Like, I was like, why don't I have patience? And yeah, it's definitely something that I got to learn because sometimes like, this is going to sound crazy of me, but sometimes I'll ask Cody to do something. And if he doesn't do it in two seconds, I'm like, I'll just do it. Like, chill chill and you know it's a problem when like you recognize that throughout yourself like you can see the problem and you're just like i don't know how to change it but i guess that's growth being aware being self-aware and trying to find a solution it's just hard i guess let's carve out the brows today because why not this is the benefit brow duo pencil i absolutely love it because it's not super pigmented like a concealer would be but it definitely carves out the brows and just makes them look a little bit more prominent. Lifts the brow bone, so good. It actually also has this like rose gold side too. So if you wanna do like a little highlight, it's so pretty. Oh my God, all my brushes are so disgusting guys. Like it's actually quite embarrassing. When my brows are looking like this, I don't like filling them in with like a pencil or anything like that because I feel like they just look way too thick. So just carving them out at least can manipulate the look of them and make them a little thinner i can't believe it's already july guys like i'm kind of shitting bricks because i feel like the summer is just flying by and i've been really trying to like be present and just like enjoy every single day like i finally reached the point where like if i don't have anything to do i am aware that i don't have anything to do like i don't know why that's so hard for i know i'm not the only one that i just feel so guilty when i allow myself to just do nothing because i constantly feel like i should be doing more but it's like listen if i don't got nothing to do i don't got nothing to do and that's like good i don't know what i'm trying to say here i think it's because i've really entered my book girl era like i've been obsessed with reading and just like zenning the fuck out and just like being away from my phone and just like I don't know, curling up with a little book. It's just been what I've wanted to do lately and that's what I've been choosing to do and I really freaking like it. I wanna do a little bit of eyeshadow so I'm just gonna add some concealer to my eyelids. I'm not gonna do anything crazy but just a light little shadow. But recently I was introduced to Penelope Douglas and when I tell you I am obsessed with her writing style, it is so good. I like how she constantly does like a dual personality. What? At least with the books that I've been currently reading, she has like a dual perspective in each book. And I absolutely love that because like, I don't know if it's just me, but when I'm reading a book, if it's only one perspective, I'm like, well, what are they thinking? So I've been really loving that like perspective on a book and she knows spice girl like i thought colleen hoover was the spiciest book that i've ever read like ugly love i was like damn she really spicy and then shout out my girl sophia from tiktok she always is talking about spicy books so i've been saving all of her recommendations and she did not miss penelope douglas is like the one author that just hits it all like the drama the spiciness like the romantic and oh, like she just she knows you know like she's so good don't get me wrong i love me some colleen hoover but i've just been wanting to take my reading up a notch so the first book of penelope's that i read was um 
Trist. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's basically about like this lesbian love story. So good. Like the storyline was amazing, but the sex scenes were even good. Like, wowza. And then I recently finished Birthday Girl. I read Birthday Girl in like three days. I'm not even kidding you. I started it when I was driving home from Maryland for like the four hour drive. I finished it two days later because it was so freaking good and now i'm currently reading credence which i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit it's not creepy it's just like i can't get really get into it because it's like this girl that's like basically falling in not falling in love but like getting it on with her like her uncle yeah it's weird so i don't know more updates to come but we're reading it. I actually started it as the first book that I picked from Penelope Douglas and then I couldn't get into it so I paused, started the lesbian lover book and then once I finished Birthday Girl, I was like, okay, let me re give, let me retry Credence, give it another chance. So now I'm reading it again and I don't know, everyone just keeps telling me it's a good book. So I'm like, okay, let me try pushing through. I think I'm on like the 22nd chapter. I don't know. I'm like borderline like 40 percent done with the book so i don't know we shall see we shall see but yeah borderline of the story is it's all right okay it's definitely one of those slow burner books but it's pretty good it's not bad but it's not great so far it's just crazy to me because obviously when i was in high school i absolutely hated reading like you could not catch me dead picking up a book and then once everybody was talking about Colleen Hoover like a year ago, I was like, okay, let me give it a shot. Was hooked. And now that I have the Kindle, I'm like, oh my God, like I have a whole ass library right in front of me. I don't even have to go anywhere. And with Kindle Unlimited, oh my God, I've just been buying like, well not buying, well technically Kindle Unlimited, you buy like a monthly subscription kind of thing. It's 10 bucks a month or something like that. And then you get a whole library of books that are like technically free within the monthly subscription kind of thing. So, oh my God, I've been downloading books left and right. I actually just, well, I've always had a Goodreads account, but I never really knew how to use it. And basically it's like a Twitter for people that read books and you can just stalk people and see what books they're reading and their reviews and stuff like that. So I've been really enjoying that. I'll leave, uh, I just poked my eye with my freaking brush. I'll leave my Goodreads down below. I've been trying to give a review for all the books that I'm reading and it's been really fun. I feel like I'm just entering this new like, world of like books you know like i was i've been reading for like the past two years but now i'm just like getting deeper and deeper and i really like it i was on vacation this was like my go-to eyeshadow look just a little bronzer in the crease and then this highlight oh my god girl this is from mario it's the honey soft glow highlighter it is so powerful just wait until you see this on my cheeks but look at this at, on the eyelid like are you kidding me? Oh, it gives such a beautiful pop of color and like a little bit of a shimmer. It's like a glisten. Oh, it's so freaking pretty, especially like when you're getting off the beach, going to a freaking dinner. It's just everything. And I feel like it makes my brown eyes pop and then just kind of blending that into the crease. Nothing crazy, but it just does exactly what I need my eyes to do. I think I'm actually gonna pop on a little liner a little liner i've been trying to get better at liner i'm not the best but that's why i do it first so then i can carve it out i'm gonna use a brown liner this is my favorite from benefit <laughs> i get really close line it up with my bottom lash line and i like when it goes up so that's what i, <laughs> that's what I tried doing and then bringing it in i'm like the last person that should be giving an eyeliner tutorial and then the trickiest part is honestly getting it even on the other side yeah i already know that's not gonna look good see they never ever look the same so you're not alone girl sometimes i don't even use concealer i just take an angled brush and use it to carve it while that liner is still wet it makes it easier to just like chop it in half it's your world and i'm just an idiot sober there we go just a cute little wing. Still in love with the YSL Brown Mascara, the Lash Clash. It's just the best, I feel like, especially during the day. And like with the brown liner, brown mascara, and the gold pop on my lid, on my lid. 
my eyelid it's so cute this eyelash curler is from velour i accidentally bent the wand <clears throat> whatever that's how you know i use it i'm like just jamming it in there when I'm done with it. It gives a softer look to the eyes than using like a stark black. Stark black. Starch black. Stark black. Whatever. Whatever. My vocabulary today? Non-existent. The Cheryl world and I'm just in it is over. I'm not thinking straight. I gotta get this song stuck out of my head because it's been in my head for so long. I was taking a shower and then I was listening to it. And now I can't get it out of my head. I'm just gonna spray the face a little bit, get it nice and prepped. This is the Euphoria setting spray. I really like this stuff. I feel like this honestly just like marinates everything in together when I have the products on, but it also like preps the skin perfectly. It starts off as like the perfect primer. And then it, like I said, it just like marinates my products together. I have hair falling off on me everywhere. Keeps my makeup looking fresh all day. So I use this before my makeup, during my makeup, after my makeup, it's been really good. I've been really loving to start with like a bronzy base. And I have two products for this. Hear me out, you don't need both of these, okay? I really love this one for vacation. Like this is my go-to now because I brought it with me to Maryland and I really loved it. It also has SPF 30. It's the Tan Luxe Super Gloss Illuminating Bronzing Drops. It's so pretty and this does the same exact thing as this. So like I said, you don't need both of them, but I love how this has SPF in it. So like it's just another layer of protection for the skin, but it does get a little bit messy and the dropper doesn't work perfectly. Like you have to be super precise with it and I prefer this packaging because it's a pump. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going in with this one today because like I said, I really love the pump. I basically put this on as like another primer. I just like how it gives my skin a bronzy little base. I wanna say this has skincare in it or something. I don't know, Say's really good at doing that. This is in the shade Sun Glow. All right, now for foundation. Ladies and gents, I am bringing her back. I absolutely love this foundation and I'm not gonna lie, when NARS went on their little trip, their brand trip, all the influencers got me back onto this because I was like, damn, I do miss it. And this was like my go-to foundation for the longest time. So the NARS brand trip did what it needed to do. Got this back into my hands, but this has also been just like chef's kiss. This is a sheer skin tint from Summer Fridays. Brought these both with me to the beach and I was like obsessed. And then I started mixing them together. So unnecessary, you don't need to do that. But together, it just was like the perfect amount of coverage because they're both very sheer. So together, it was like a medium coverage, but still very sheer and just like super glowy, natural. And I loved it. Gonna mix them two today, but again, you don't have to. If you are looking for a new skin tint, this is absolutely beautiful. I feel a hair on my face. I think I just love the colors together because this is in the shade. This is in the shade four. And then the NARS one is in M1.5. And then putting that all over the skin. Skin. Gonna blend that in with a little brush. It just like presses it deeper into the skin is the first step to making your foundation look one with your skin. And then going in with a beauty blender on top picks up like all the extra product. I've just been loving doing my makeup lately. Like this routine has been my cup of tea. It's so just like empowering when you find a routine that works perfect with your skin. You don't even have to think about it. You just know your makeup's gonna turn out good. And that's this kind of routine. Taking my beauty blender right on top. This is actually from Tarte. I really like this sponge. I do need to get another sponge because I'm weird about like using the same sponge for more than a month. I always get a new sponge constantly. I have been thinking about the Morphe one. The Morphe sponge is so freaking good. I still have a few breakouts that are like peeking through, but I kind of like that, you know? Like I don't care about like full coverage in the summer. I just want at least my redness to go away. That's like my biggest concern is my redness because it just, it's not cute, it's not cute. I've been obsessed with this little tiny little freaking bronzer stick. It's so cute and it does what she needs to do. Oh, I love this color too. It's in the shade Blaze. It gives a nice bronze, but it also contours. There's just something about the way this blends out. It's not too sheer, but it's also not too full coverage. I don't know, it's easy to blend in and it just gives the perfect amount of color. It doesn't take up much space in your vanity either. It's just so good and the color is everything i like placing this directly on top of my cheekbones and then right on the jawline on the forehead cut cut, cut like a cookie cut like a cookie hey 
cut like a cookie a eh? oh my god you know <laughs> i don't know why i just thought about this but i should come out with a rap about makeup like blending in my contour blending in my contour looking for the encore <laughs> I, don't, I don't know as soon as i start doing my makeup i get into such a silly goofy mood because it just it makes me so happy like do you ever just do something like your favorite hobby as soon as you start doing it you can just like feel the excitement and like i don't know I don't know, I just get so happy when I do my makeup. Always make sure to get my hairline because there's nothing worse than like having a white ass scalp. Even though like on the top of my scalp, it's so white and then my face is like tan. Nobody has to know. I know I probably look super muddy right now, but that's why we do the bronzer first so we can clean it up. Blending in my jawline is so satisfying to me. It's like, there she is there she is i lost like five pounds now for concealer i'm actually using a different shade in the hourglass one this one's in the shade oats and i like how it matches my like tan skin a little bit better kind of has like a yellow undertone which i normally don't go for but it does match my base better you already know the drill let it sit let it dry down it just blends out a little bit better specifically with this one i'm not i'm not saying this for all the concealers this one it's super hydrating so I do like letting it sit for a little bit and then the hourglass brush with it. Oh my God, they just go hand in hand. I absolutely love them. I just like a brush first because you can really keep that product exactly where you want it. Ooh, the brows are actually looking perfect. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but toot toot. I feel like I've shown how to blend in my concealer so many times, but if you're new here, we like to keep that product exactly where we want it. I don't move it too much right in that inner corner. Bring it down a little bit on the nose. I always get like right in the nose too. And this kind of cleans up the bronzer too because when I put bronzer on my nose, I don't like do it in any specific way. I just kind of slap it on my nose for the color with this brush, kind of just cleans it up and it looks like I gave myself a little contour. Also take that brush, bring up the concealer, carve out that liner even further. Instead of blending everything in with the brush, well, I kind of like you see how there's like a little piece missing from concealer. Take the sponge, kind of tap over everything and also picks up extra product that we don't need because I always have a heavy hand. But you see that? You see that? I always get so quiet when I'm blending in my concealer because it's like concentrate, bitch. And then whatever is left over my sponge, I bring it up right underneath that contour. Not to chisel it, but just to clean it up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to blush, I have way too many favorites. Like, it's actually absurd and so unnecessary because I never know which one to pick. But I will say this combo that I brought with me to Maryland was unbelievable. I absolutely loved it. The new NARS, La, what's this called? The Afterglow Liquid Blush. This is so freaking pretty. It is very sheer, so I don't feel as extra like layering this one but this is what i do i do really like a little bit on my nose and on my forehead because it kind of makes me look sunburnt i love this color this is in the shade dolce vita and i actually let this dry down just a little bit so you can keep a little bit more coverage and i just kind of tap where i want it without like rubbing just tap it and i keep this as high as i can and then a little bit on the apples of the cheeks and i kind of bring it in to the shadow as well. This color, when I am like sunburned on my shoulders, it just, it matches so freaking well to my sunburn. I was very hesitant to buy this, but again, with the NARS brand drip, I was like, oh my God, it's so pretty. And then when I swatched it in stores, I was like, it's not a one, it's a need. The cherry on top, this Persona blush, the bloom, I believe this is a collaboration with, oh, I forgot her name. It's a collaboration with an influencer, I think. Persona stick in the shade Bloom. This is so pretty. It's like, it's like a peachy pink. This makes my face look so pretty. That's simply all it is. It just, it makes my face pop. And on a nice tan, it's so, it's so good. Look how cute, oh my God. I like this combo, game over. A liquid blush first and then a cream on top. Mm, it's not going nowhere. I, okay, <laughs> I can't even speak. I'm just so excited. I love highlight. Like, I just love looking glowy, goddessy, bronzy, golden. I love a good highlight. 
this iconic roller so beautiful so freaking pretty i absolutely love how it's a roller i used to you know put it directly on top of my skin but this say brush that i just used for the blush the other side is the perfect size brush to use right on top of the roller i take a little bit on top of my hand just to like really coat the brush and then just put that right on the top of my cheekbone and i am layering my highlights as well today you'll see why you'll see why this is a beautiful like peachy i don't want to say pink but it's not like a rose gold either it's just a really good color to like marinate into your blush a little bit the other day i was getting quite curious you know just playing with makeup and say came out with these like glow sculpts they have so many different colors in them and they were sp not supposed to be like most of the colors they represented like blushes but with like a highlight mixed into them such a cool product but this color, it's called Quartz Glow. I looked at it because I was like, I couldn't use this as a blush. And then I was like, wait, why haven't I tried this as a highlight? So here we are. Taking the small side again. And this has like a bronzy undertone. So putting this on top acts as the highlight. The iconic London one just kind of blends into the blush. And this just like, boom, in your face. It's so pretty. Definitely a little bit extreme with the highlight, but like, you see i don't know if you can freaking tell like it's just so pretty and then i'll just use the other like this is why i love this brush like from say this brush is actually supposed to go with this one but i use the bigger side of the brush to blend everything in and then this one to like really place that highlight exactly where i want it it makes your skin look wet and it lasts all day long like say yes to be completely honest the other day i didn't even set my face like anywhere i didn't add any like powder on top like not even powder blush or a bronzer and my skin lasted so freaking long but i will say i am on the dry side so if you're oily this is what i would do to like lock it all in and but the charlotte tilbury one i know you already heard of it <laughs> i know it's nothing new but it's really pretty oh this is just really good at camouflaging any texture pimples it's good I'm actually going to use an hourglass brush just take a little bit and then I always start with my forehead, a little bit on the chinny chin chin, smile lines right underneath. I don't bring this all the way up because I want to keep that glow, but like in the center of the eye. Yes, ma'am. Oh, let me cover up this pimple. Like she's still glowy, but she's also matte. And that's what we love. And then I've been really loving the double-sided brushes lately. They just been coming in clutch because I've been using this side for bronzer and the hula bronzer. She's just a summer vibe. Like she is the summer bronzer. You know what I mean? Like it's either this or Matt Give Me Sun. And I sadly had to get rid of my Matt Give Me Sun because it was so old. <gasps> I'm not gonna cry about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grow a pair of balls and I'm not gonna cry about it. Loving an airbrushed bronzer look. Going in that three shape motion like the old days. Getting my neck. And this bronzer is just so like bronzy. <laughs> She's a bronzy bronzer. Always make sure. This is why I really love using a fluffy brush because it's easy to just drag it down your neck and make sure everything matches. Pick some of this up and let me put this underneath my lash line. It's like the slightest of differences, but it's a difference that I wanted. Now I'm gonna do a little setting spray using the Euphoria one again. I'm so extra when I'm spraying these. I do not need to put that much on, but it just feels so good. I can't get enough. Not like I need any more highlight, but I am gonna put this one on because it's just so freaking pretty. I like using this also on my collarbones. This is the Mario highlight again in the shade Honey, and it's just like, oh, like, them shoulders too and it just like adds that highlight that everybody wants everyone wants to be the main character and this is main character energy oh look at that collarbone like as you can tell i can't get enough of highlight i can't i can't stop it one thing about me i never left 2016 okay one last powder because i'm not sure if i showed you guys this powder yet on youtube and it deserves a moment okay this deserves a moment this is from makeup forever it's the hd skin twist and light it has three different colors in here i believe it's for like uh redness brightening and it has like a luminous color in here i don't know it doesn't have like full-blown glitter but it just like blurs your skin 
but also keeping that like glowiness. I don't know. It's the perfect finishing powder though. And I'm using the brush that actually was like made for this powder. And this is what I do. Basically, I'll just start at the forehead and do a three right here. And it just like smooths everything out so it's less harsh because sometimes I can be a little bit heavy on the bronzer and stuff like that. But this is just to blend everything together and it smooths out the face. It keeps that glow there, cancels out your redness and it just simply finishes off a makeup look. Like I swear this powder is what keeps my makeup intact all day long. Like we love her. Like this is really good for dry people when they wanna set their skin but don't wanna put too much powder on. But this is also really good for oily people who want that glow without wanting to put on like highlight after highlight like me you know like this can work for any skin type a combo that you need i'm not gonna lie my lip combo changes every single day i love my lip products so much that i'm constantly wanting to like try something new so when i say i've been using the same lip combo for the past like two weeks you should know that i'm not joking around and everything i'm about to use is like my biggest insecurity is my lips because they're small as shit and when I'm on camera, I'm just like, oh my god, where are her lips at? So when I do my lip combo, it, I, it's a big deal to me. Okay, long story short, my lip combos are huge and this combo right here is just so perfect for the summer or just every day. Like whether I'm doing like a no makeup makeup look or not, I always overline my lips. And this pencil is like the first lip pencil to actually last when I'm eating something. Like usually I don't care. Like I love touching my lips up anyway, so I don't look for a lip liner to last, but like it should be something on my mind, you know what I mean? This pencil from Makeup Forever, this is in the shade of uh, Wherever Walnuts, 606. So pretty. Oh my God, I already have to sharpen it. Hold on, let me sharpen this bitch real quick. I also really love the NARS pencil sharpener. I love a good lip liner that matches my lips, but it's a little bit darker because I overlined the Okay. I always start with the bottom of my lips when I'm overlining them because I like getting like a pinpoint of like where I want it to end. I always go a little bit below my actual lip. I just match it to my actual lip. I don't overline the outsides because sometimes that looks a little too clowny. Just like so. And then I bring it up onto my lip a little bit. And then the same thing for my top lip. I always overline my cupid's bow. But then as soon as it comes to like the outsides, I line my actual lip and don't go above it because it just looks a little too crazy for me. I always bring the liner in a little bit on the sides of my lip. If I could create a product, it would be a lip liner and this is what I would want it to look like. It's so pretty. And I'm pretty sure this is the one that Hailey Bieber used. I could be wrong, but it's really good. And then for the lip stick, okay. I hate saying this because I hate like loving something that's so expensive because you don't need to splurge in order to achieve any look. Anyways, okay. So, you know what I mean. But this lipstick is really freaking pretty and it does last and it's just like the packaging gets me every single time I pull it out. I just feel like a main character <laughs> like I do. And this is such a pretty lip color. It just, <laughs> I like it. Okay, I like it. Do you need it? No. But am I obsessed? Yeah. This is in the shade um, nine, I think. Like it just matches the lip liner so well. And it's so like buttery and creamy. It doesn't feel like, okay, not to be like that, but it truly doesn't feel like any other lipstick I ever used. A lot of lipsticks are very like sticky and they like, they don't glide onto your lips, you know? Like this is like butter, almost like a tinted chapstick. Yeah, but even better because it actually gives like coverage. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And then to top it all off, Ciate London created a dream. They created a dream. These lip glosses. Oh my God. You know, I was getting really sick and tired of all these brands coming out with lip oils. You know, like, bitch, that's not a lip oil. Like, you're creating a lip gloss. Ciate London, they created the lip gloss and they created the lip gloss. Okay, this is their, whoa, oh my God, my heart just dropped, I almost dropped it. The dewy gloss in the shade Charm. Oh, it's just like a clear bubble gum. Well, it's not clear, but it's a bubble gum pink and it just like adds a little bit of lightness and the glow, like the gloss these give off. 
unbelievable look. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> Every time I put this on, I just keep going. I just keep going. Like, it feels so good on the lips. And, again, the other day, I was eating something, and then I went to the bathroom, and I was like, oh, my God, my lips are going to look crazy. Like, that's always the most embarrassing thing when you're done eating. Like, I don't get embarrassed, but it's just like, okay, I know my lipstick is, like, on my chin, on my lip, on my nose, and it's, like, gone. And the gloss, they never last. The glosses never last. I went into the bathroom my lips looked like this after eating and i was like i had to do a double take i was like the lips are on and it was this combo like this combo is just chef's kiss all right my friends and that completes this makeup look slash hair tutorial even though not really a tutorial oh the hair yeah the hair looks good honestly if i was going out today i would like curl my curtain bangs because they look a little crazy <laughs> but nonetheless this is the makeup this is the hair let's just do a side part because i feel like that's kind of that's the vibe right now over here looks perfect ah okay vogue holla oh my god oh my god anyways this is the makeup look this is the hair i'm gonna leave everything linked down below i hope you picked up on some new products got inspired Inspired. I feel like the summer season is just so it's just so fun, you know, like you can make it what you want You can be your soft girl. You can be your party girl. You can be your beach bum Whatever your vibe is. I hope you are enjoying your summer and I hope you enjoyed this video I love you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out with me watching me do my makeup. I'll see you all in my next video and you already know me. I suck at ending videos. So without further ado, I'm just going to end it. I love you. Bye. Yeah, I know I look good. Yeah, I look fly.